it was like nothing central Illinois or the world had ever seen. It is uh, unique uh, for the latter half of the uh, 20th century. The massive domed structure broke the prairie horizon and broke in a new day for Illinois sports. For more than 25 years, U of I's basketball team called Huff Hall home. Former basketball star Dave Downey remembers the games at Huff as intimate. If you were going to take the ball out of bounds, you had to ask the fans to you know, move their feet so that you could stand and throw it in. But the building couldn't accommodate the growing number of fans, so the university chose Illini alum Max Abramowitz to create a new facility, not only larger, but unique. A great number of architects, including myself, worship the Gothic period when the builders just built of stone and the stone held things up and it had its own majesty. The task was as huge as the building itself. Crews poured tons of concrete, forming stands for 16,000 fans. The roof posed a particular challenge, as Dick Foley of Felmley Dickerson Construction explained to then WCIA sports director Tom Shandienst. Tom, the main feature is the roof structure, which is 400 feet in diameter without a post in the place. To hold it up, machines wrapped 614 miles of quarter-inch steel wire around the outer edge of the building 2,500 times. Central Illinois laborers worked nearly around the clock to complete it. Finally, four years and eight million dollars later, Assembly Hall hosted its first basketball game on March 3, 1963. Downey says the new arena was almost too different for the players. Everyone was kind of in awe of the place. The fans, they had not been able to suspend the baskets in a way that worked very well, so the, they were much springier than the nice old baskets in Huff. And uh, the lighting, the sound, the remoteness of the crowd, it was very much like a neutral court. But that didn't stop Downey from breaking the Illini scoring record that first night at Assembly Hall. The hall was the first major arena in central Illinois, unique in 1963, unique in 2003. Then, as now, it provides a venue that uh, is unavailable outside of the city, outside of Chicago, Indianapolis, St. Louis.